Welcome to the Great Exodus series. God's plan of rescue for his children. Let my people go. The path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael. I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And today I leave the image from our daily prophetic word online so that I can bring the topic. And the topic today is do you have a compassionate heart? A compassionate heart is so important for all true believers. We are saved by great through faith. It is a free gift. No question about that. And it's not a question about once saved, always saved or anything like that. Not a question about all that. That's not important. Important that we are saved through grace by faith and that we do not have to work for our salvation, period. But then when you are saved, you cannot just remain in the world. Your heart is yearning for a new existence, a new life, for something that is newly born. Your heart will experience compassion, love and kindness towards your neighbor, as our Lord and Savior has commanded us, love your neighbor as yourself. This is coming from where? This is coming because you are saved. This is coming because you have seen the love of the Father and what our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has completed at the cross. Love, unconditional love for his creation. And if you're truly saved and completely saved, then your heart will show forth compassion, love and kindness to the needy, the nameless, the faceless, the children, the homeless. And you will step forward into spreading the gospel. You will never sit and hide behind your YouTube channels or behind your churches. No, you will step forward. You will speak about our Lord and Savior. And you will show the people an example of love and kindness that you will show forth into your neighborhoods. So it's not a question of if you're once saved, always saved, and then don't do anything. This is not a question. The question is, are you bringing forth fruits? And the fruits are brought forth because you are saved and because you have the love of the Father and of Jesus Christ in your heart. You will receive a compassionate heart for service, for sacrifice, for love, for caring and for respect of others. You will never use bad words against your fellow Christians. You will not slander them, you will not fight them. But instead you will show forth the righteous deeds of the saints, love, kindness and compassion to this one who was suffering. You will not go forth and say, oh, be blessed in the Lord, and then you run away. No, you will actively go there, give your hand and say, God the Father has sent me to lift you up today. Come, I will show you a new path, a new way and a new life. And this is what it's all about. After you are saved, a new life will come up and you will spread it and you will be bold to declare it. And you will never ever go back into the world, into in your careers or into your worldly things of partying or drinking or smoking or anything like that. You will overcome all the enemy's temptations. That's what it is about. Compassionate heart. To show forth the love of the Father for all to see. Kindness. Forgiveness. The courage to speak bold words, gratitude, going forth to their neighborhoods and helping people who truly suffer. You will feel it in your heart when you see a child crying. You will feel it in your heart when you see people suffering. You will feel it in your heart when you pass the homeless. You will feel all that. And that feeling will lead then to actions to the righteous deeds of the saints, 
and only then, and only then, you are complete as a true Christian. The Lord has showed me long time enough, long time ago in a vision, that faith without works is dead, but works without faith is even worse. You cannot do good things and then be saved if you do not have the faith in our Lord and Savior and what he has done for us. But also that alone cannot stand, because the Lord is requiring for you to bring forth fruits, as he has required it from the apostles. And they were obedient, and they followed, and they went out into the nation, spread the gospel, and brought in plenty of food, fruits, plenty of fruits for the heavenly kingdom. So show forth your compassion. Do not bigger about Bible verses. If you are a true Christian, go forth into your neighborhood and lift up the needy. Come together in love, unity and support. Share your resources. Support one another and support the children and the vulnerable in your neighborhood. Step out, step forth as apostle have done. The book of Acts should be a great example for all of you outside there, especially the ones who are fighting right now. Read what the early Christians have done. Use them as an example and do the same. And then all the fighting and bickering will stop right away. Because each side will see the truth. What the Lord is asking you for. To spread the gospel of the kingdom. Not any other gospel. The gospel of the kingdom. Because the kingdom is at hand. And how many times has the Lord said in his ministry, Repent, change your life, take your cross and follow me. How many times has he said that? So do that. Copy him and nobody else. Do not copy men, do not copy women, do not copy the world. Copy our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ only, because only through him you will reach to the Father. So bring forth your love, your courage, your compassion, your service, your kindness, your sacrifice, every day into this world so that the people see that you as changed creature, a changed human with a new life, a newly born person in Christ Jesus. Thank you that you have listened to this topic today and I hope I will see you again tomorrow. May God bless you and your family abundantly. And if you're guided to help our ministry, you're guided to assist our urgent project that we have, just follow uh, the, the links in the first pinned comment. Help us to spread the messages to the world and allow us to serve the needy in a greater fashion by pooling the resources of many people together. Because we do not want that 700 people will give to a charity but what we want is that one million people will act in empathy and then the world will change. Thank you for all. Thank you that you understand the greater message of the Lord and the new level in which you will walk and to become closer and closer to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Have a blessed day. Maranatha.